Today, I'll be unboxing Sideshow Collectibles' brand new Old Dirty Bastard statue. Stick around. is in the building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back in the building, back in effect, and back with another video. And today, yeah. <laughs> today I'll be unboxing this Sideshow Collectibles Old Dirty Bastard statue. Yo, you guys know how much I love hip-hop. You guys know how much I love Wu-Tang Clan and Sideshow Collectibles. Put this up. How did I see this? I got an email because, you know, I'm on the, the newsletter thing from buying other stuff from Sideshow. So I got the email. There was like, this is in stock. Super impulse buy. Super impulse buy where I just pulled the trigger and I was just like, oh, I immediately regretted it like a few minutes later. So this is what it is. This is the brown shipper. We're going to take it out the shipper. We're going to look at the box. We're going to do all the other stuff. This is the first statue that I've bought. Yeah, I think in uh, like over 10 years, maybe ever since I moved on to the hot toys. I haven't purchased a statue. But like I said, this was a complete impulse buy uh, and I'm excited to get into it. Uh, I'm gonna take it out the shipper and then we're gonna look at the box. Let's go. First and foremost, <laughs> yo, this box is sick. You got a picture of the ODB statue right there in the middle. His name down below in graffiti. Yo, the New York train station map behind it. Super fire. Clearly, I'm biased because, you know, what I mean, this is where I'm from. This is this is dope. The box is way bigger than what I expected it to be, but. Yo, this is crazy. Super sick front of the box. Let's look at the back. The back of the box equally as sick. You have the portrait there of Old Dirty Bastard, similar to the way, you know, The Chronic is. Uh, Dr. Dre's first album, how he's in the, in the circle. So Old Dirty Bastard there. And then it has the Old Dirty Bastard, his name in the same graffiti style from the front. Then that, that transit map in the back. This shit is fire. On the side of the box, you got the image of the Brooklyn Bridge in that kind of brownish orange color. The New York skyline in the back of the bridge and then water in the bottom. Side your logo down at the bottom, then up top. Famous lyrics from ODB's Brooklyn Zoo, his debut single from his first album. The other side of the box, it's the same exact thing. Brooklyn Bridge, New York skyline, water. And then shame on you when you step through to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn Zoo. Overall, this box is, yeah, it's definitely an art piece. All right, so boom, now that we looked at the box, I'm gonna try to take this guy out and see what it is, Now, I mean? Let's go. All right, so boom. <laughs> I don't want to move the camera but as you can see it has a bunch of pieces uh in the styrofoam uh, i'm gonna take everything out and assemble it as is actually you know what let me see if i could uh i'm just gonna talk through it instead of i was gonna assemble it and then uh you know what i mean fast forward and then stop but we're gonna we're gonna try to assemble this bad boy right here in front of the camera and excuse me for all the noise i hate when styrofoam kind of like rubs on stuff so, and I'll give you uh, close-up pics and B-roll and all that other jazz. <sighs> so the base, yo, the base is sick. So this is a train station base. This is the Chamber Street Station, and this is on the Brooklyn Bridge side. I mean the Brooklyn Bridge side. This is on the Manhattan side of the Brooklyn Bridge. So Chamber Street, Manhattan side of the Brooklyn Bridge. Right there, you get off of Chambers. That's what... <laughs> That's where you go to court. It's court right there. Um, that's where I got married. I got married in city, city court. Uh, dope ass the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, I don't know what you would call this, but that's cool. And then that goes on the back like so. All right, just make sure there's nothing crazy. Line around. Woo! <laughs> Yo, shit. Uh, where would this go? Uh, I think this goes here, but I might be completely wrong. But anyway, let's see. Let's just put that last then, because I'm not sure where that goes. Uh, let's remove his body. 
from the bag, ODB, classic jeans, he got his Tims on. Yo, the Tims have the little logo thing on the chain on the Tims. Back in the day, we used to, you know, leave that on the Tims. Oh, does that go like this? Yes, boom. There you go. Figured it out, figured it out. Shame on you when you step through to the old dirty bastard, Brooklyn. And the figure is stylized. So normally I don't go for like stylized uh, figures or uh, statues, but this, you know, I was just like, yo, this is, this is hip hop. This is MCing. What that's from? That's from, uh, this is this Wu Tang Five, right? We was like, it's not. Ah, there you go. And then he's like holding on to this. Boom. Oops. Wow. I almost knocked out my entire setup. Shame on you when you step through to the old dirty bastard. And I know he's coming out the train station holding on. Holding on to the light pole. And then the portrait with all his braids. Oh, yo, I can't wait to show you. This shit is sick. We're gonna put it in there. I am going to get rid of all this stuff and then I'll be back to give you uh, close-ups of the statue. Let's go. So here it is in all its glory, Sideshow's old dirty bastard, stylized statue. The base is sick, right? So it's him emerging from the train station. Yo, su super, <laughs> super fire. It would have been dope if there were like some crack vials and shit on, on the stairs uh, or some piss because you know, that's really what it is. Him breaking the gate, like ripping the gate with him, Brooklyn Zoo. Uh, the, the sign, the detail, the paint application to that gate, it looks rusted and legit. That's how that shit looks in the train station, especially in the Chambers train station. Uh, the green, it, it matches the green of the actual cha uh, train station. The Chambers sign in the back with the one, two, three. Even though those are the colors of the J-Line, <laughs> unless they're faded. The Brooklyn Bridge, uh, whatever you want to call that, the brick, yo, fire. Super sick. Now, him himself, Let's start at the Tims. The Tims are looking fresh. The color, the paint application. Yo, they look like Tims. This is how I wear my joints like that. Uh, unlaced, you know, <laughs> you can't run in them. So unlaced. And then, uh, the, like I said, the paint application is absolutely superb. The jeans are dope. Crispy white tee. It looks kind of leathery. And that, I don't know, maybe uh, initial reaction. I'm not loving the paint application to the tee. But then how do you, you know, do a white t-shirt it makes no sense it looks good i just i'm not loving it the bubble vest bubble vest is like some old school new york shit back in the day we would rock the the bubble vest you know the polo bubble vest or even a Helly hansen bubble vest those were the shits and then his chain his chain is looking dope there's some like cuts on the chain to give it like a kind of a design that's pretty fire looking at his face his eyes are are sick he has like the old db like the grin with his lip like up like oh like you saw in the back of the box his grills well they're called fronts back we, we would call them fronts in new york but you know uh nelly made them famous the grills but his fronts are looking sharp the hair i'm not digging the hair to be honest i think the the like the scalp piece it could have had more of a design or something uh i think they could have done the braids a little bit better but I'm, I'm not I'm not really digging the paint application to the scalp underneath the skin tone skin tone is fresh the beard the goatee everything is fresh skin tone from the hands everything is dope the nails yo fire 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 yeah so all in all I think this is dope especially if you're a statue collector a hip-hop lover specifically Wu-Tang Clan I love Wu-Tang Clan my favorite group of all time so this is definitely a piece that will you know sit in the collection i can't wait to get my other room set up this right next to i have like a special edition of raekwon the chef's only built for cuban links 
uh, and my box set for you know, right next to it, purple tape is gonna look fire. Overall, I think this is dope. The only real criticism that I have about this is the hair. I don't like the way the hair is painted underneath of the braids. And then it, it kind of reminds me more of Coolio than ODB, a song unique. Rest in peace, God. I, 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 I love this thing. So I guess we got to give it a, a rating, right? So you know my ratings, uh, what it is. Super fire, fire, meh, trash, and super trash. Yeah, it's ODB, man. It's Wu-Tang Clan. It's Sideshow. I got to give it a super fire. And that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me. And as always, most importantly, Wu-Tang is for the children. Peace.